Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to make some espresso and I got some freshly roasted beans and I'm going to take 18 grams here. Let's put it in the hopper and my grind size is at 4. So all the 18 grams came out and it smells good. Now my basket is warmed up. Uh, today we won't use the default potter filter but instead we will use the bottomless potter filter. Uh, I got the links in the description below where to buy. So let's use the bottomless potter filter so that we can have a look at the extraction of the espresso. So, all good after a clean wipe. Okay, so here I'm just breaking all the clumps. Uh, WDT method, which is very good to avoid channeling. So all I'm doing is just breaking up all the clumps. And now we can transfer to the potter filter basket. And here I'm just breaking up the remaining big clumps. And then we are ready to distribute and tamp. So it's recommended to do this WDT method. It really works well and there'll be a big difference in the taste of the espresso as well. Okay, so this side I'll use to distribute and the other side to tamp. Again, the link for this accessory it's in the description below so it looks good so i'm going to use this puck screen which will help to distribute the water evenly and evenly seep through the puck so in this machine remember to warm up the group head or shower screen before you make the espresso or else the group screen will be cold uh, but if you are using Rebel Barista Express you are fine uh, if you leave it on for a while then your shower screen will be warm enough so we are ready for the extraction make sure it is tight And uh, I'll take a weighing scale so that we can check the yield. Just tearing it. And uh, you should be able to see in this. Okay, double shot. So 33 seconds extraction and look at that crema. It's a rich cup of espresso. So when you use freshly roasted beans, you see a lot of CO2 gas 
bubbling up that's the crema that you see the more fresh the beans are the more crema that you get so if you're not getting crema like this that means your beans are not fresh enough look at that it should look almost like hot honey or melted honey okay so uh, we are going to make some latte using the two person milk so we will take milk just below the spout that's good for a medium sized cup a cup of latte so let's see how to froth the milk properly for latte art You can check my channel on how to froth the milk properly for latte art. There are many videos that I posted. Do look at them. I think it has reached the temperature. So first thing is I purge the steam wand and then clean it up with a wet towel. Before even I attempt to make latte, this is what I do. This is very important. You don't want any dried milk to be stuck in the steam wand. So purge again and then we are ready. Now let's transfer the espresso to the latte cup. Okay, so I'm going to attempt a latte art. Now make sure the milk should look like a wet paint. That's the texture you want. That's a good looking cup of latte. So I can't wait to taste it. So that's how you make latte with the espresso base. Now let's check the puck since we use the puck screen. We should get it more evenly. The good thing is your shower screen will be clean and it's easier to come out of your basket. Uh, let's have a closer look. Now the pattern that you're looking is you don't want to see any area that is over burned. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and if you like this video, hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time and bye for now and have a good day.